All right, guys, so before we create the Your Account page on your e-commerce website, which is gonna look exactly like this, I just wanna say a heartfelt thanks. I know that it gets a little bit hands-on sometimes in WordPress, and it's tempting to go off and use some easy software like Flix or BlueCommerce or Storify. I can't even keep track of all the names, but those products aren't as good as WordPress. The result you're getting is a lot more high quality, and most importantly, you're gonna know how to control it and how to change things around. That control you have is truly invaluable as your site grows, and again, the result we're getting is so much more high quality than most of the web pages on the internet. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for willing to be a little more hands-on and build a better product. Enjoy. All right, let's click on your account. And this is the default year account you'll get in most WooCommerce sites. All we have on this page, in fact, is just the short code, sort of like we saw before, but a new short code. All right, so let's get to work and let's make this page look like this page. If we edit the Your Account page, we'll see a very basic example. And this page, in fact, is just a short code that WooCommerce creates for us, like we've seen before, but a slightly different short code. And this short code is actually the foundation for what we're gonna make right here. The first step and the first thing we wanna do is click Backend Editor, which will put our WooCommerce My Account short code we need into a row and into a text block. And we can leave this one just like that. Now let's add a new row just by clicking the plus and clicking row. And it'll look a little bit different here because again, we're in the back end editor as opposed to the front end editor. But back end editor is better for some things like seeing all our rows in this smaller screen. I want you to move that new row you made up above the My Account row. And then click Row Layout. And then set the Row Layout to 4. That will work automatically. And we're in business. Now open up the far left row and add a text block. Delete the dummy text. Click the text tab and write in with me bracket user info space field equals avatar in quotation marks space size equals 150 in quotation marks close bracket now below this shortcode just write in upload photo then back in visual, we can highlight everything and center. And this first text block is done. Just save changes and we're all set. This second column might be the most difficult, so make sure to follow along closely. And again, I'll write out everything for you. Click the plus and select text block. And of course, we'll delete the dummy text, which doesn't seem to want to go away ever. Now write in open bracket user info space field equals quotation user underscore login user underscore login close bracket and now make a space and write bracket forward slash user info close bracket and what we've made here is a shortcode section, which using one of the amazing plugins we install at the beginning is going to pull in the user's login name. In other words, whatever your customer writes as their username when they sign up will show up right here. And because we know that'll happen now, we can customize this section a little bit and 
create that feature that Amazon has where it looks like you own the site. So I'm going to write the little possessive apostrophe S and then comfy account. But you could replace comfy with whatever the title of your site is. All right, and then hit enter. And below that, write first login. And below that, write bracket user info field equals quotation mark user underscore register. And all these short codes we're writing are going to communicate with the amazing plugins we installed. That's really all we need to know for now. And if you want to know exactly which plugins are working, I'm obviously happy to tell you in the comments. Just want to keep this moving because a lot of people have commented in the past that they would rather have me just tell them what to do, what to do, what to do, and get it to work and then explain it later. So I'm here to serve. Now we're just going to style this section a little bit and add in an alligator h3, close alligator, alligator slash h3, close alligator, to create a heading 3 on the first shortcut. And we can see that gets a little bit larger in visual. Now save changes. In the next two blocks, we're going to create another text block and add some Amazon-esque features. Just write out settings. And then we're going to create a link that allows customers to change your password, email, and account details. And then one more link that lets them change your billing address. Perfect. We can make these two items a bulleted list, and we can make the settings a heading 4 to stand out a little bit. Save changes, and let's do similar to that in the final block. Text block. Delete the text. And now we need to give people some actions like track orders, cancel an order, and manage membership. This might all seem silly now, but I kid you not, people really do use these links and they appreciate the time you take setting them up. Heading 4 again, and bulleted list for the three options. Of course you can add more options as your site grows and you think of new actions your customers want to do, or new settings. But for now, just save changes, because this is a great start, great template. All right, and we are looking really good. The hardest part of the My Account page is now behind us. So let's just make sure to update. Next, let's create a new row, and we're going to add some related content for people to look at. Click Row, Plus, and now we want a title. And we're going to call this section things we recommend for you. Just like Amazon, we're going to recommend some products while someone's on their, your account page. And save changes. Next click this lower plus icon to add to the row. And just choose featured products. Choosing featured products is going to let us manually select which products we recommend to the user. And that way we really can choose the products we think that that user might like. Leave these featured product settings the same and click Save Changes. Alright, looking good. And believe it or not, it is finally time to update this page and see what we made. Just first click Hide Page Title. And Update. And now View Page. And thankfully enough, we actually created something that looks good. We just need to set these links in settings and actions and the link for upload photo. And if you want, you can style the page with a background on this upper row, a background color, and you can adjust the paddings if you want a little bit. Of course, I'll also show you how to manually add these products too once we're all done with this page. Background color is pretty easy. Just edit the row with this pencil. 
design options, background color, go for a nice subtle gray. And then to set up the links on actions and settings, the easiest thing to do is to find those links around the site and just copy paste them in. For example, we put the orders link in your account dropdown, which we can right click and copy. Click edit on the text block and then just add that link by highlighting the text, insert edit link, paste and done. For the cancel an order link, that's just going to go to our contact page. Copy again. And you get the picture. Manage membership will go to membership account. Perfect actions are done for now. And then these two links in settings are actually a little bit tricky to find. The first link can be found if you click on this standard WordPress link right here for edit your password and account details. Copy, highlight our text and paste. Well, it's even harder to find the link to change your billing address, so I'll just help you write it. Just highlight, link, and paste that same link that we have right above it, which will say yourdomainname.com slash my account slash edit account slash billing, just like that. And add link, save changes and update. Now let's go back to our your account page and the links should all be working. Every major WordPress e-commerce website uses links like this to help people edit their information. But most of those websites just show people a screen with input forms like this. And what we've done is taken it one step further by including information like the profile picture and the user's account information, which can I think be reassuring and help people know they're in the right place. To set up this upload photo link, we actually need to make a new page with the sole purpose of uploading photos. So just standard new page, backend editor, we're going to call this page change your profile picture and just add one text block within a row. Edit that text block, change the dummy text, which never wants to go away, and write in the short code that looks like this bracket basic dash user dash av dash avatars. Simple enough, and save, publish, view page, and now we'll get this nice little profile picture uploader screen. The choose file button will open up the computer that the user's on, and they can choose any picture they want. It doesn't even have to be a picture of themselves, it can be a picture of a dog. So grab this link and let's put that on the your account page. Back in editor, just edit that far left text block and set that link on upload photo. Paste, add link, save changes. Sorry, this is so many steps, but I think it's worth it. And now your account page is essentially done. It definitely works and will please the heck out of your customers because they can customize the page themselves. 
To add products in the things we recommend for you section, just go to your dashboard products, hit quick edit instead of edit, and just check featured and update. And now because we chose featured products down here, when we refresh the page, any products you've set as featured will show up right there. Perfect. All right, there we go. Amazing, guys. All right, guys, we're chipping away and getting closer. All right, guys, great job so far. It's a new day. This tutorial is seriously taking me weeks to create, but that's amazing. Uh, the sun is shining through my window right now on me, and it's a really good feeling because we've now created our three most important pages, our homepage, our shop page, and our your account page. It seriously feels like spring break is starting, or I just finished my last final and it's summer vacation. I want to give a little shout out to the plugins we're using. We were able to set up this picture and this username and the date of first login, which are three pretty advanced features with user meta shortcodes by this fella over here. Really amazing creation, and even though it says this plugin hasn't been updated in over two years, it works great. And the reason it probably hasn't been updated is because it still works great. I see so many plugins these days with really flashy landing pages that promise all sorts of stuff right here without getting down to business, and then they just don't work, or they only work when you buy the premium version. So massive thanks to this plugin and its developer for being so solid. Ideally, by the end of the tutorial, I'll have explained for you every single plugin that we installed and exactly what it does for the site. But for now, we're gonna keep building. We just talked about user meta shortcodes though. 